because with a heavy heart, we must begin with the 2016 election. Or, as you may know it, the shit-filled cornucopia that just keeps on giving 2016. 2016. And it is all because... It's all because of what happened on Friday. We're following breaking news, a dramatic new twist in the presidential campaign. The FBI is reviewing its investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State after the discovery of new emails that appear to be pertinent to the case. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's just what this election and everyone's state of mind needed. Bacardi should really consider switching their slogan to Bacardi, because there might be more fucking Clinton emails. <laughs> And if, the, if this shitty development in a shitty campaign season were not grim enough, there is also the matter of where this latest problem came from. In a more surprising twist, the unearthed emails were from the FBI's investigation into disgraced Congressman Anthony Weiner. It's true. <laughs> it seems Anthony Weiner is forcing the nation to relitigate the entire email controversy and putting Hillary Clinton's chances of winning the presidency in serious danger. Carlos Danger. <laughs> Damn it, Wiener! Danger! For the record, this is a reflex! Yeah! I'm not having fun! You're ruining my chance! Dang it! Look, this is obviously a disgusting way for the email case to come to life. Just watch Vice President Biden learn about Wiener's involvement for the very first time. I don't know where this email, where these emails came from, what... Apparently I, I, Anthony I mean, Wiener. Well, oh, God. <laughs> Anthony Weiner. Um, should not come in with Anthony Weiner. You can just picture Biden repressing that news and going to his happy place, <laughs> which I assume is this actual picture of him eating an ice cream, <laughs> wearing sunglasses and holding a fistful of money. <laughs> and perhaps the most frustrating thing about all of this is we don't know yet whether this is a huge problem or whether it's barely a problem at all, because FBI Director James Comey pointed out in his letter to Congress that the FBI cannot yet assess whether or not this material may be significant, and sources have since dampened expectations of what might emerge. At this point, sources tell us that Hillary Clinton is not implicated in any of these emails, that she did not send them, so there's no right now direct connection to Hillary Clinton, but we really don't know specifically what is in these emails. OK, so nine days out from the election, the FBI has basically delivered us the equivalent of a mystery box. <laughs> and like the box from the end of Seven, it could contain anything from nothing to Gwyneth Paltrow's head. <laughs> although, although it almost definitely contains Anthony Weiner's penis. <laughs> and, and the chances of getting this resolved before the election seem slim. So, thousands of emails on the computer to examine, now they've got to go get court process to uh, get the right to look at those emails because remember this investigation of Wiener was focused solely on the texts that he sent to an underage girl. Right. So now they've got to go back get legal process to take a wider look at these emails and begin that process. You said earlier this probably won't be wrapped up before election day. Scratch probably. So to recap. The grinding hell of this election has thrown in yet another twist, with the election potentially hanging in the balance, all thanks to the fact Anthony Weiner allegedly sexted with a 15-year-old girl. Now, a month ago, when Donald Trump tweeted, we should check out a sex tape of a former Miss Universe contestant, I said if you looked up, you would see rock bottom. <laughs> well, if you look up now, you will see absolutely nothing, and I'll tell you why. We have burrowed through, not just rock bottom, but through the core of the earth. And we've come bursting out the other side, startling kangaroos. And we're currently hurtling toward outer space, where there is no up, down, light or darkness, just an endless void in which death comes as sweet, sweet relief. Please, let this thing be over soon. And now, this. 